Rob's here with the check of the forecast and probably a lot of people hitting <laughs> yeah. the water to get away from this heat today. Tough gig you had there, by yeah, the way. I know, you the know, water. sometimes. Yeah, where's my <laughs> sharing of the boat with there me? Where's my invite? Uh, let's talk about some of the temperatures. They are on the very warm side. Our weather watchers are showing those into the 90s for everyone. 94 is the warmest number I see, but as far as the highs from some of our weather watchers today, that 103, I'm not sure if we quite made it there, but that's what Eugene says. Otherwise, it's mid 90s for most of you. Here are the official numbers uh, from our reporting sites. 91 at O'Hare, 93 in Midway, and we do see a couple of 80s popping up. The lake breeze is really hugging the lake, so you have to get pretty close to the lake to be able to uh, see the benefits of that. Otherwise, this heat extends all the way to the north, although by the time you get to Green Bay, temperature is down to 80. We're going to keep this pattern in place. There are also some storms around the periphery of where that warmer air is in place, although a few showers and storms have been able to punch their way through some of the heat. The humidity is there. We just have high pressure and control that pretty much keeps these at bay, but it's hot and humid enough that, yeah, we have a few showers that are going to pop up and continue to roll on through maybe into the region. Don't be surprised if you hear a rumble of thunder, but the rest of the evening is likely to be relatively quiet, especially as the temperatures very slowly begin to come back down. Now they're going to stay very mild overnight, 77 for the low, and if we stay there at 77 overnight into tomorrow morning, it will be a record for our high temperature for our record low temperature, the highest we've ever seen it for that night. I know that's a little bit confusing. It's a record low high or record high low. Sounds very odd, right? So where do temperatures go from here? Well, they're going to cool down into the 70s for tonight, and then we get a pretty good jump start to get the numbers into the mid to upper 90s for tomorrow. I do think there will be a couple of triple digits here and there, but probably more 90s than anything else. And then finally, we'll start to see this relief begin to move our way. I don't know that it'll arrive here by Monday, but at some point this front, this boundary between the cooler air and the very uh, hot air that we have in place to the south, that will begin to slide our way. That also comes with a chance for maybe a few showers. So as far as Father's Day is concerned, 97, hot and humid. By the way, the record is 96 for this date. That occurred back in 1957. As far as future casts, quiet through the overnight hours. We may be able to pop an isolated shower tomorrow, but there's that front that will arrive on Monday. Give us a good chance for rain or maybe even some thunderstorms into the evening. Here's the seven day forecast after a few days into the 90s, and we do have an excessive heat warning until Monday evening. Evening. We're going to keep it into the 80s. Rain chances off and on starting on Monday. We'll continue into Tuesday, wrap it up by Wednesday. All right. Thank you, Rob. Yeah.